What's good, people? What's going on? I'm finna make a video today about uh, the sun, man. About my one year maintenance expensive with this uh, Peterbilt 587. It's been one exact year since I got the truck. And I just wanna show um, everything I spent just in case anybody looking to get this this kind of truck in the future or anything or this year a great truck didn't have too many breakdowns at all but you still have maintenance and you know other things you got to take care of so it's a 2012 Peterbilt 587 Cummins ISX engine 450 horsepower I got it at 372,000 miles. It's now at 505,000 miles. The miles go by so quick, man. So, let's get to it. Now, June 2016, my clutch went out. That was only $900. I had a mobile uh, maintenance um, make mechanic down in Georgia come and fix it out to me at the TA down there in Brunswick. Clutch went out. It was already bad when I had it, when I first got it. But I just didn't know when it was gonna go out. But when it, when it did go out, couldn't move, couldn't move the truck. Ah, uh, the sun, okay. How you wanna play this? Now, in July, they had no expenses, just uh, a regular PM. $275 a month getting that PM service done. I was using a 15W40 Rotella, getting all the filter change and everything, everything greased up. August, I replaced uh, both steer tires. That was $650 each, not much. Also, the monthly maintenance for the uh, The PM. September 2016, my DPF needed cleaning. That's when it deteriorated on it deteriorated on me. Uh, went down to five miles per hour. That was my biggest expense all, all year. It was thirty-three hundred dollars for that bill right there. It needed cleaning, but I, I know how how long it takes for it to be clean now. So now I know how to catch it before it, it uh, deteriorates. But I still made it to uh, the Peterbilt. I didn't break down, didn't have to get towed or nothing. So that was good. October, no problems. November, no problem, just regular. Every month, I spent maybe 275 to 300 on maintenance. Not maintenance, just my PM service. That was every month. Then in January, I had to replace the alternator. Arsenator went out. I made a video of how that happened. That was only $800. It was less than that for the alternator, but I had uh, I didn't make it to a shop. I was at a safe haven, but um, I didn't make it to the shop. And I should have recognized that the alternator was going bad, but you learn as you go as an owner operator. You learn the, the problems you have as you go. February, no problems, just monthly PM. March, no problems, just monthly PM. May, no problems, just monthly PM. And then June of this month right here, I replaced two uh, drive tires at Goodyear, $650. That's it. Hold on, let me tell you the everything I spent. All right. Now the total, what I spent on my expenses this year, I spent 10,500 total on expenses. If you want to add uh, oil, fuel cleaner and stuff, windshield fluid, windshield wipers, the other small stuff, um, truck washes, including everything it came up to eleven thousand 
for the total expenses for the year. That's not too bad at all for one year. Uh, fuel, I spent 36000 on fuel this year. 36000 I got the truck. It was getting uh, 5.8 miles per gallon when I got it. Now I'm getting a uh, 6.5, very close to a 6.6, .6, but I'm getting a 6.5 and I'm saving a whole lot now. When I got it, it was at a 5.8. I guess the last driver who had it or the last company who had it, they just went 70 miles an hour, 72 miles an hour, up and down, no matter where they went. It was at a 5.8, now it's at a 6.5. Doing much better on fuel now, this year. So that's my total expenses this year for maintenance. Uh, one year as an owner operator. I'm not a lease operator, I'm an actual owner operator. Um, anything that happens, there's no maintenance account. I have my own maintenance account. There's no uh, deduction that some company take from you and I don't know how to lease stuff that way. I'm an owner operator, Peterbilt 587. One year update, this video will help anybody who's looking to get this truck. Um, great truck, man. Big in the inside, inside uh, great looking truck. And uh, it never really break down. Even with a check engine, engine light on, it won't stop. That's the great thing about Peterbilt. The truck won't stop if the check engine light come on. Even if the stop engine light come on, the truck won't stop you got to recognize what kind of problem you have you know it's still to make it to a shop with any uh, light on some trucks they stop right down the side of the road so they have a problem Peter belts don't do that so hope this video helped anybody who looking to get this truck I'm sure it will it's a great truck man great truck right now I'm here in Wisconsin <laughs> Here in Wisconsin, uh, about to head to Texas in a little while. Keep it moving, then go home for the Fourth of July. Come back out, do it all over again. All right, one year update. Peter Belt 587.